All right, let's go. Load me up. Load me up. All right, right here. I don't want to give it to him because he's just going to eat it. Chase, I can eat whatever I want to eat. No, you can't. You got to know when to say when. You need to go serve, Willie. Today, Duck Commander is having a pancake breakfast to support the West Monroe Fire Department. Look, look at Cory. Look at Cory. <laughs> oh, good job. Not only is it a great cause, but it combines three of my favorite things. Family, community, and pancakes. I need some more bacon, too. All right, four things. And the fire trucks are pretty cool, too. Hey, Will. Yep. More coffee. Jace, bring more coffee. And a one hot pancake. Calm down. Hey, I, I need one hot pancake. Side, the same about you. It's about the firefighters. My first stack was four, second stack was six, this one's seven. I cannot eat it uneven. Side, you keep eating the top no, no. one. Hey, it's out of balance. Yeah. Right. Hey, oh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Good work. Willie? Chuckles! Hey, Willie, how you been? Oh, I've been great. Oh, man, is that Chuckles? It's Chief Simmons now. Well, you got it, Chief Chuckles. I've known Chuckles since, like, eighth grade. Hey, Chief Chuckles. Uh, What's up? We're good friends, and we like to joke with each other about stuff. Remember that time I gave you that atomic wedgie? I do remember that. Good old days back then, good old days. Well, I can joke about it. Chuckles never had much of a sense of humor, which is ironic, given his nickname. What is that? Okay, did you burn the pancakes? Okay, burn the pancakes, boys. Thank you. Oh, sweet. Oh! Oh! Yeah! You know what yeah. that says? Get out of my way. Dude, I want to suit up and go fight some fires. Oh. I'll tell you what, y'all are more than welcome to. We'll set up some drills, let y'all go through some of our agility tests. Let's do this. We don't need to do drills. This will be a good test of our manhood. Jeff, you failed the test of manhood when you put on that blouse. This is a really nice shirt. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Y'all ready to see if you got what it takes? I don't know. Oh, we got what it takes, son. Every young boy considers becoming a fireman at some point in their life. I got a few forms that y'all have to fill out. There's a lot to like. The big trucks, the cool gear, the chance you may be on a calendar. Uh-oh, there's a lot of pages here. You Thank you, sir. You didn't even read it. I don't care. You don't even know what you're signing. Just sign the stupid paper. What they don't tell you is all the paperwork you had to fill out. Now, I feel like it's my fiduciary responsibilities to let you know that he just signed something saying he had no mental condition. You're acting fiduciary. Oh, that's so stupid. Y'all got a lot of birds in here. They like it in here. They're called firebirds. Get it? The problem I see here is Extremely dangerous, high-risk activities. This says perils. Jeff, you just signed perils. Just sign your paper, dude. Dismemberment and misfortune are in all caps and big, bold letters. Dude, let's be a fireman for a day. This Come on. waving pretty much everything that I have. Illness, serious injury, emotional trauma, and or possible death. And or? Y'all don't need to worry. <laughs> We get to be firemen. Who cares? All right, whatever. All right. Against my better judgment, I'm signing it. I'm going to trust you because you fired me. All right, let's suit up and go fire something. Whoa! So, sir, what exactly are you sucking on over there? Sunflower seeds. Is it supposed to sound like that? I don't know. What does it sound like? A hog eating corn. <laughs> si has learned the technique of getting under people's skin and not even knowing it. Whether it's shaking the tea glass or humming a tune that you've never heard <laughs> or running sunflowers through one side and <laughs> spitting them in a cup, can you do it quieter? I'll try. Hmm. It all comes together to be sort of caustic. There she is. 
Miss Ward Nine herself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A woman with her flowers. Aren't these beautiful? La di da. I'm thinking about putting some of these out at Nanny Caraway's grave. Because I hadn't been there in a while. Aren't they pretty? It's a nice gesture, Miss Kay. I want you to get ready to go with me so I can get them out there. You're thinking about that doing that today? Yeah, because I don't want them to wilt. Well, I'm just saying she'll be there tomorrow, too. Phil. Hey, you mind if I join y'all? You like cemeteries, do you? Yeah, I love them. Phil, you're coming with me. I'm fixing to go grab my jacket. Hey, and I'll join y'all. Did the sunflowers go with you? No, nah, I can leave him here. Whew. No sunflower seeds allowed. All right, guys, I want to introduce y'all here to uh, Chief Medlin. He's going to work with y'all on going through this course, showing y'all how to do everything. Let's see what you got. All right, our first order of business is to get on the sled here. You've got to simulate chopping a hole in a roof with this. You've got to drive it about 24 inches. You'll proceed from there, where that hose is laying right there. You'll grab that nozzle and bring it down here past these two cones. Once you pass those cones, come over here and you grab the dummy and you drag him down there. All right, who's going first? Let me show you how to do this, son. All right, station one. Do it, Jeff. Come on, son. Being the youngest in the family is tough when you're a kid. When that siren sounds, you go. All right. All right, come on. Good leg. Come on. But then one day you look up, two brothers getting a little older, a lot more out of shape. Come Why on, again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And me, I'm in my prime. All right, small break. Break. Fires don't take breaks, son. Mm, mm, mm. But Jeff's not looking too good. He's done. I didn't know. I didn't know it was gonna be this intense. Next victim. I'm gonna beat his time, and I'm not gonna throw up. Sometimes I do throw up. I know these guys have a hard job, but crap. Can't we have some easier drills? I'm getting a little nauseated just thinking about it. Dig, dig, uh, dig, 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 dig. Come on. You're almost there. Come on. It ain't all about firefighting and going into burning houses. There's other stuff we can do. Come on, go, go, go. There you go. go. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come on. Where's the old get the cat down from the tree or false alarm? You know, stuff like that. All right, Willie, you're next. Get you some. I had a big breakfast. What? I had a big breakfast. You're just scared you're not going to beat me. He's not even timing it. He's not. He's trying to find a clever way to quit. I hadn't stretched yet. There's burning people in this building. You left burning people in the building? Come on, man. I have a process of stretching. You look like you're stretching out those pants. I throw up a lot. Don't talk about throwing up. I really could throw up. Hey, y'all did good, boys. Good job. All right, what's next, Chief? Y'all ready to see some fire? Heck yeah. Yep. Come on, Jace. Show y'all some fire. Let's go. Fire time. We're going the real stuff now. You're going to do this next one. Oh, it's pretty out here. You found her grave yet, Miss Kay? No. No, they're kind of all going together here. I know it's out here somewhere. There's a duck. Hey. That's cool. Yep. Never trust Miss Kay's direction. That goes way, way back. I remember she was around a lot of other stuff. Maybe it's here. I think it's by this tree <laughs> right here, but that's not her name. I've never been with Miss Kay headed anywhere where we didn't get turned around and lost, ever. No, that's not it. That's not it. So you have been here, Miss Kay? Yeah, a lot of times. I mean, she's even got me lost going to places that I know how to get there, and I'm still getting lost. I'm following her. OK. Maybe it wasn't by a tree. Well, you know, come to think about it, I don't think it was by anything. I made a vow to the woman to follow her to the grave. Do you always have this much trouble finding it? Yeah, about every time. I just didn't think it would be taken this literally. M well, maybe it's that one over there by itself, you think? Might be. I don't know. Well, look, yeah, your flowers might wilt by the time you find Nanny's grave. Well, shoot, I just broke one. Oh, pitiful. All right, guys, we're going to actually fight some fire here. 
A lot of fire's gonna roll out the back of here, so you've got the way to put it out, so don't abandon your post. Y'all be real careful, because when this fire comes out of here now, yeah. you might not have a beard anymore. Huh? You ready? Well, I don't know, but, uh oh whoa! Oh, good grief. We got some heat here now. There we go. As a redneck myself, I can safely say that when it comes to fire, we're usually the ones setting the fire. Jace, you're missing the fire. Put it in the hole. Definitely not putting them out. This thing's got a mind of its own here, don't it? You're, you're almost doing good. If you hit the fire, no, that's a little too high. Maybe that's why Jace is having such a hard time with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to it. Shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. I mean, he's never set the warehouse on fire, but he has started several forest fires. Andrew, yep. come put that fire right. out for me, please. Show me how it's done. You're a terrible front man. It's called teamwork. He's a lot better than you. Experience does a lot. Yeah, with that. he's way better. Hey, we should get together later and make a calendar. All right, gentlemen, welcome to our repelling tower. This is High Angle Rope Rescue. Mm. It doesn't look very high from here, but uh, once you get on top, that's going to look really high. Oh, it looks pretty high. Looks pretty high to me. Yeah. This may be the one drill that I wasn't prepared for. This, this looks a little dangerous. It is a little dangerous. I'm just glad that I participated in all the other drills, because if I had been the guy that had been making excuses all day. Are any of you guys scared of heights? We will fix that today. I'd have a pretty hard time talking my way out of the last one. That's, that's, why, we, that's why we stress safety, because uh, your life could end here. Well, crap, that's a downer. That's not going to happen. I can almost, almost promise you that. It's the almost promising that kind of worries me a bit, but is this really dangerous? Oh, yeah. It's extremely dangerous. Oh, crap. If you fall, uh, there's a really good chance that uh, you'll die. But there is a chance to survive. Well, we can't be sure of anything. All right, so who wants to go first? I'll go. Really? I ain't scared. It's not so much that I want to rappel down a five-story building. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. But I know I haven't exactly participated much today, and the guys are going to give me crap for the rest of my life. Hey, if anything happens to him, I got dibs on his truck. All right, you can have the truck, because I guess that means I'll be the new CEO. You're not going to be the CEO. You won't be here. Yeah. I'm not going to die. So of all the drills, the one where gravity does all the work, that sounds like a good one to volunteer for. All right, we ready? Oh, I'm ready. Ready to roll. Let's go. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. I am ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. Yep, this is it. Callie Mae Caraway. Look right. at that. There's Nanny's resting place. She was a good old woman. Yep, she was. And she taught me how to cook just rolling that dough. I remember just rolling that dough. That's where your cooking skills started? That's it. Well, you want to hear the the news here, I don't think she'll mind now. Your cooking is better than her cooking. Oh. I've had both. Hey, he's had both. Well, you shouldn't hey. say this right here for I'm her. I'm just saying. Well, I've spent more time walking around in a cemetery than I ever thought it possible. You know, this is a beautiful cemetery. Why don't we just go ahead and find a couple of two or three plots for us? You think you reached your destination, but no, lo and behold, this thing is just now beginning. And then one for y'all sidekick. I said Yours two or truly. three. Oh, we're having fun now, Miss Kay. Well, one trip is better than two. That's it, you know? right, because the second one is the last one. <laughs> That's it. Good thinking, sir. This, this hand right here is what's going to control your speed, OK? OK. The farther you bring it out, the faster you'll go. So keep it in tight. Keep it in the back, and you'll stop. All right, you ready to go up top? 
The last fireman challenge of the day is the repelling wall. And like an idiot, I volunteer. Let's do it. Whew. He's nervous. I mean, from time to time, I may have had a slight smidgen fear of heights. Go on, Willie! I ain't doing it! Man up! Don't screw this up. Shut up. Jump! 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. Shut up. But I'm pretty sure I'm over that now. All right. So is there a gate or ladder? How do I get over? Yeah, right over that rail. Crap, we're high. Can you see the hospital from up there? Actually, I can. Now you know where you're going. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Whoa. I may throw up. OK. Don't screw this up. Shut up. Maybe if we had some treats down here for him, he'd come down faster. Oh. Uh-oh. That's it. <sighs> we just need to motivate him. Just lean back. Tell just me when you don't go I'm Just anymore. leaning back. Y'all sure y'all got it? Ho, ho, ho. You sure you got it? Just lean, just lean into it. With... Here he comes. Today was a great day. Oh, oh crap. All right, you're doing real good, Will. You sure you got me? I got to fulfill two of my childhood dreams. Oh, you're doing great. Shut up, Jace. Have you wet your pants yet? I got to be a fireman for a day. He has a condition, acrophobia. It's where you're scared of heights. Got another condition with that wedgie. And I got to see Willie get the biggest wedgie in the history of wedgies. Oh, crap. Life doesn't get much better than this. Can't move. I can't move. Uh-oh. Is he stuck? I'm stuck. Obviously, he picked the wrong drill to volunteer for, boys. All right, fellas, we're going to have to go get him. I'm stuck. This spot, man, look at it. It's more open, got beautiful water, a big old shady tree. What do you think, Phil? Oh, I think. It's got a few people, not too many. What do you think? It's got. It even smells good. What do you think, sir? Well, I. I like it, sir. Mm. Yep. The only thing more morbid than uh, walking through a cemetery is looking for your own grave. Look, there's tadpoles in there. Somebody could come visit us and go fishing. It's not on my short list. It's great, isn't it, son? I like it. Oh, my long one, really. I mean, you could have a picnic here. I doubt if they'd throw a picnic here in a cemetery. I but... love it. But Miss Kay, she seems to be enjoying the whole thing. I'm like, women, go figure. OK, this is kind of a mini version of Black Bayou. Where we first started, well, we might well end in the same kind of spot. Remember when I caught those little baby frogs all the time? I remember. You paddled the boat and I bass fish, remember? Yep, and I took my BB gun and shot the turtles off the logs. Yep. I didn't hurt them, of course. Boy, that's when dating was dating. Hey, that's it. It's like coming home. I, I mean, knew she'd pick the I, best spot. That's right. She's the best grave spotter in the country, right here. Yep, I did it. I believe you did. I'm stuck. He's stuck, dude. Let's film this. Good idea. I'll be like the reporter. I'm rolling. Testing one, two, three. I'm stuck. Here we have a developing situation. I'm Jace live. What are you videoing with that phone? We've just got confirmation that his vitals are fine. Shut up. There have been rumors that he might have peed in his pants. I get down from here, I'm gonna kick both your butts. This is Jace signing off. What kind of ninja move is this? You know what you're gonna do is turn towards the wall. There you go. Ho! Right, Jeff, right. film this. Oh, yeah. Don't be videoing me. He is in complete control of Willie right Watch now. Watch your head. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is awkward. I think my firefighting days are over. Of all the people to defy gravity, never thought it'd be Willie. And the first place my mind is going is that maybe old Chuckles hasn't forgiven me for that atomic wedgie. Easy, easy. Oh! And to that I say, well done, sir. That's a wedgie he'll never forget. The atomic wedgie. Tip of the bandana. Yay! Oh. Hey. We're so proud of you, oh. Willie. All right, who's next? Look, 
I done got hungry in all this excitement. What about you? Yeah, I'm hungry. If y'all want to, we'll go back to the station and have some barbecue chicken and ribs. Willie. I can't move. Barbecue chicken and ribs back at the fire Hang station. Hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, let's pray to God. Father, we love you. We're grateful for another day. We're grateful for these men and women, for the fire emergency services. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Every so often, you get to stare death in the face and remember that life on Earth doesn't last forever. And those moments are times that really make you appreciate what you've got. Whether it's a sunflower seed spitting sibling, or brothers whose happiness rely on you making an idiot of yourself. Because the things that are annoying now are the stories that make everybody laugh around the dinner table later. And even if you were the one who were hanging from the business end of a five-story rope, it still feels good to laugh about it. Because that's just another one of those things to appreciate. That and the fact that after all the fire, I still have my beard. Let me see it. Delete. <laughs> what? Gone. You just deleted that? Hey, gone. <laughs> Like a redneck obstacle course right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are y'all doing? We're going to get this old barbecue grill fired up. Huh. Well, it's been quite a few moons since I've broken out the old barbecue grill. Well, that ain't going to blow up or nothing, is it? That is a good question, that. The last time I remember smoking any meat, Miss Kay was in bell bottoms with the little girlish figure. You know, old Jay's, he was in diapers. Old Richard Nixon was getting on the airplane. Just hold on, Kay. We got a barbecue coming. We got barbecue coming. Oh. Is it? Barbecue. If it won't crank, hit it with a hammer. That's it. We've always been a fixer, me and Phil. But hey, I must say, okay, it was after we broke stuff. A lot. Oh. Okay. Well, y'all definitely broke it. That's for sure. I think we just need to go buy a new one. It's a piece of junk. The American way is one gets a little age on it, throw it away and get another one. We didn't need that anyway. Not around my house. Put that back in there. Hey, put this back in there. Yep. We just keep dragging it out, patching it up. Hoorah! Keep going. What do you think? I think I better go get some cold cuts ready. That's what I think. That might be a pretty that good idea. might be idea. a good idea. Yeah, I think so. I heard that song this morning. That hump song. Hump song. No, oh, I know which one you're talking about. Hey, my humps. My lovely, lovely humps. That's it. Hey, what are you going to do with all the pumps? <laughs> <laughs> humps. My lovely, lovely humps. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Got a, hey, got That's a good cool. drum beat to it. Oh, yeah. It yeah. makes you want to get up and move. Uh, I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Hey, look here. Of course I like the black eyed peas. Hey, it makes me hungry when I, I say the name because, hey, you'd think it was a dish, but it ain't. It's a band. Why would you listen to that kind of music? I listen to all music. It's how I stay on the up and up, Jack. You know, hey, I like all kinds of music. Meatloaf, the cranberries, the corn. Hey, a little salt and pepper goes a long way. And my personal favorite, iced tea. Hey, that's good listening, man. You know, and hey, it's good for the brain, too. Well, uh, good for the brain. Yeah, yeah it's good for you the brain. You could've fooled yeah. me. <laughs> it's brain food. If music is good for the brain, then it should be painfully obvious that whatever Cy is listening to... My lovely, lovely humps. It's not music. At ease, gentlemen. Hey, I'm always at ease, Jack. Chase, I need something very important. I need the best duck call we got. Uh, I want it engraved just with the number 15. Number 15? One five. I think I know who that is. If you guess it, I'll tell you. Daytona 500. 2007. Getting warm. Dude comes sliding in on his roof. You're hot. Clint Boyer, or as they call him in South Louisiana, Boyer. Clint Boyer. 
That boy, yeah. He's coming to West Monroe. Well, hey. He's coming here. He's coming through. Clint is one of my good friends who's looking to develop some land in West Monroe for a racetrack. I'm looking to get into a little business of my own, advertising Duck Commander on his race car. Who are y'all talking about? We're talking about a NASCAR driver, Clint Boyer. You know who that is. No. I thought you were up on the latest trend. You can sing hey. Humpty Humpty Dumpty and you don't know Wait, who Clint that... Boyer is? When y'all said 15, I was thinking some pro athlete. He, he is, is a pro athlete. athlete. Hey, a car driver ain't no athlete. Oh, oh here we go. go. Yeah, get it. Uh -oh. Look here, if it wasn't for my trick knee, I'd probably be playing in the NBA right now. I'm a pro athlete then. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was a time when I would, hey, I would slam it in your face, buddy. I would slam it in your mama's face. What is wrong with you? Hey, I wanted to find out what the big fuss about is. Guys, look, he's coming today, so get it done. Well, why don't I just give it to him? No. Well, I'll get y'all a signed picture or something. No, send him back to the shop when he gets here. Send him on back here. Uh, hey, no. hey, before you go, I got a question for you. Is he bringing his race car with him? And can I drive it? I think that's a no. All right. Ah, don't you let Bubba come over here. What are you doing, Miss Kay? I'm trying to get rid of these stupid ant hills. And Jesse, number four, was over here trying to eat the stuff. It'll make him act funny, but it'd probably get his worms. He's gonna end up just like Jesse three dead if he eats in this ant stuff. Well, Miss Kay started the naming every dog Jesse when Jesse one died. Miss Kay, what you gonna do when Jesse number three dies? Jesse number four, what, what do you think? She did have a little miscue, because about Jesse number three, the vet said he won't live, you know, three weeks, he's gone. She ever said, well, I'm gonna get Jesse number four before Jesse number three dies. Well, the problem was he pulled through. So she said, well, I'll tell you what, let's just call him Bobo until Jesse three dies. Oh, Jesse number three, he's been around here for 40 years, Miss Kay. And he's never gonna die, that's right. Women all have quirks, hers is the dog quirk. I'd live with it. That grill's still not fixed. Well, Red's looking for a hose. Well, you know I still have a warranty on that thing. Could you just take it back? What kind of trade could you make me for a stunt like that? A big banana pudding? Maybe so. Sound like a pretty good trade to me. Hey, Miss Kay wants a new grill. I get banana pudding out of the deal. Everybody happy? Banana pudding and a little rough sex. How about that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> I got a bunch of pennies in my pocket waiting me down. I don't think it's a pennies. What are we doing out here? Jump! We're waiting on Clint Boyer. He might be driving in his race car. Well, then, when do you say he's gonna be here? He'll show up. Clint's arrival is taking its toll on Willie. He's anxious, and he has a right to be. For West Monroe, this is big. My hair messed up? What hair? Throw it back. Is that him? Look at here. Here we go, boys. Now well, we got the Who door. else would be what in a think? camo limo? <laughs> a camo limo? Sweet. See, bro. Like it. Like it, Clint. That thing is like a bug life for rednecks. This is a redneck dream car, son. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Pull inside. Let's look at this thing. In my world, you add camouflage to anything, it immediately becomes cool. Okay, whoa, whoa. get in some room. Look Easy. Out. He's out of way, boy. Hey, these boys only go one way, fast. That was impressive. You turned right and backed up. Two things you never do. <laughs> Clint, I got you a little something. Thanks, man. I duck actually, call. I actually made that, but hey. He made I it. I figured as much. He did. Wait, that got my number on. It's from us. There the right goes. font? Awesome. You Thank you. Happy. All right, I'm starving. You want to eat? Me too. <clears throat> that you never ask. Oh, yeah. Barbecue? Yeah. I, yeah. I love barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. barbecue it is. Yeah. What you Clint and I, y'all got to work. Oh, man. Oh, man, I brought a limousine. He brought a limousine. That's, 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 what what limo. that's hey, my man there. there. This is supposed to be my time with Clint. You pay it? Yeah, you pay it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, CEO's buying. I'm trying to conduct business here. Settle up, partner. 
but the guys are clamp blocking me. Oh, wow. hey, what's the weight limit on this thing? I think we're at it. So Y'all holding on? I gotta know. Daytona 500. Day. On a scale from one to a thousand. How much fun was that when you came skidding in? That's too big a scale, Jace. How much fun was it? In flames. It was yeah. zero point <laughs> zero. <laughs> it was not fun at all, huh? No. But it did look cool. What's this nonsense y'all talking about anyway? Sliding up an upside on a roof. Si, say nonsense, it really happened. On the highway? <laughs> si. What? I wrecked my race car. You a race driver? Yes. Really? Sir. Si. Hey, I don't know what y'all talking about. Acting like it's a big deal because, hey, I don't know who Cliff Boyer is. Have you flipped before? No. No? Good okay. driver don't get that car. <laughs> There's 20 million people in the world. I'm supposed to know about one? I think a lot of duck hunters are NASCAR fans, huh? Hopefully all of them. I've been thinking about getting into the sponsorship side. Yes. Mm. How much is it? A half a million. A year? That's per race. Per race? Per week. Half a million bucks for one race? Do I get to keep the car when this is over? Hey, this is a good investment. <laughs> Clint, how long are you in town for? Through the end of the week, me and a group of investors are actually looking at buying a dirt track down the road here. Nice. I come out and check it out. I will. Yeah. I'll be there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes. You're a race car driver? Sorry, we've met before. <laughs> really? Cut it. Cut it back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. All right, hold right there. Mama, mama. Oh, good lord. Go feet first, what do you say? Oh, that baby fit right in there. Oh, it fit like a glove. That'll work. Here's your warranty, mister. Don't lose it. I just hand them that, and they give me the new grill, right? Right. All right, so I tie her down. All right. You got a new grill coming. Si, you always got to keep these women happy. Oh, yeah. Get that banana pudding on. Hi, oh, boys. Thanks for coming, man. I mean, this is the perfect place for a new concession stand. Jelly dogs, baby. That's great. What in the world? You have got to be kidding. <laughs> Hail the breeze, boys! What have you done? Oh, yeah! Hey, imitation is the highest form of flattery. Clint should be honored that I copied his limo. This one's different. It has a sunroof. Correction, improved upon his limo. No, it is cool. Where huh? did you get this thing? I leased it. Where do you lease a limousine? I got a friend. Did you lease the driver? No, I hired him. Are you kidding me? I mean, you're gonna have to take this thing back. Clint's a friend and I respect him as a professional driver. But if he thinks his celebrity status is gonna get me to take this car back, He's got another thing coming. I ain't taking this thing back. And it can only be one camouflage limousine. There's only one way to sell this. On the track. Jack? No. Yes. No, we're not racing nothing. If you beat me in a race on that drag strip, I'll put your name on my race car. Willie, if you lose, you're a bearded, pudgy guy who is a copycat. Brace it. Brace him. Brace him. Shut up. But if you win, you're a bearded, pudgy guy with your image on a NASCAR hood for free. You're a professional driver. So is he. He's retired. Oh. He's just doing this on the side. You know, I have no idea why I wind up in these situations all the time. Probably because we're just idiots. Willie, if you win, you'll be a legend. And Jace. 
Oh, crap. There we go. I know that response. Here we go. Oh, you only live once. All right, we're going to see if him and Joker to give us that. We might get a money back on this little yep. trade. Whoa, now. Where's the grill? Did you tie it down? Yeah, I tied it down. What kind of knot did you tie? Hey, I tied it down with a double Windsor knot. Piece of trash. How could that have happened? I don't know. And we not even know it. Hey, somebody stole it. That's what happened. It's possible that somebody drove up beside us. They go on the same speed we are, and hey, two of them could have just grabbed it, set it in there, pick up, and went on. It's possible. That's a pretty good thief. He'd steal it going down the road. Hey, let me tell you, in Nam, somebody stole my outer tire on my two and a half ton truck. I never got below 10 miles an hour with a bunch of people sitting in the back of that truck. I walked around there and looked. Hey, it ain't nothing but the lug nut sticking out. And I said, hey, y'all didn't see nothing? And they said, nah. Them boys will steal your radio, and the music will still be playing. So hey, somebody stealing a grill out of a back of pickup, hey, no problem. That'd be a piece of cake. Are you sure you tied it down? No. <laughs> Telling stories, one of the best there ever was. Tying knots. Nope. Ain't nothing to do but backtrack and see if we can find a doggone thing. I bet it's a sight for so eyes oh, now. Oh, I think so. They probably won't get no refund now. I doubt it. Let's see if we can find it. Or what's left of it. What kind of knot did you tie? Double window. A double what? You got a point there. I can't believe we didn't hear it fall out. Yes, it's like the, the tree in the forest when it falls. If nobody's there to hear it, it don't make any record. So I'm driving along with old Cy trying to find a grill that blew out of my pickup truck. It's got to be around here somewhere. We're mounting it to the darn house. Another day in the life. I'm glad nobody was behind us. We might have seen something there. Yep. Yep. What's that up there? Well, that's something up there on the side of the road. Hey, that's sucker. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we got lucky finding it. Hey, and I can tell you this. Hey, ain't no redneck come by because, hey, it wouldn't still be here. Let load that baby up. It'll live to see another steak. In this corner, we have a professional race car driver. In this corner, a guy named Willie. I'm not doing this. You got to do it. I'm letting my driver drive. No. No, 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 no. I have what I think is a newer limo. Time to man up, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh... And a stylish Don Johnson sports coat of the same era. Good luck, Willie. Sure you don't want to do this? No, I'd rather you do it. This could be mine. <laughs> Clint Boyer's going to be choking in my dust. I'm good. I'm fixing to show you how this is done, Willie. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Change my mind. I don't want to do it. Gentlemen! It ends here. On one hand, you have Clint Boyer. He was born to rule machines. How'd you get your tires to do that? It's a secret of the pros, my friend. On the other hand, you have Willie. He was born to rule a desk or a really nice couch. Who is the greatest camouflage limo driver? I'm your man. Chase, I can't hear you. It's settled right here. I can't hear. On your mark. Get set. Hit it, Emerson! Hit it, Emerson! For the love of humanity, hit that, Emerson! Oh, 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 oh. Damn. oh good night. Here we go. I think it's the man waving his arm. Woohoo! That would be the close. pro, Clint. Willie, you lost. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Winner! Winner! <laughs> <laughs>
close, but she lost. It wasn't so bad. It was less than half a second. But there can only be one camo limousine. I ain't taking this back. We got to take it back. I'll race you. I'm hungry. You guys hungry? Yeah. Hey, let's get let's back go. on the barbecue. Yeah. Let's race. First one to fill. Say your goodbyes. The race is over. We're going to eat. Let's go, Will. Come on. At the end of the day, Jace is right. I lost by a fraction of a second to one of the greats. Emerson, let's go. I'm coming. There ain't no shame in that game. Did you win, Willie? Really? Emerson, no. So I think we did the impossible. We brought it back. We brought it back. Couldn't fix it, but hey, we modified it. Score one for redneck ingenuity. Hey, this is way better than it was before. Don't be stingy with the ladder. Oh, hey, I ain't going to be stingy with it. We didn't need all them gauges and tubes and stuff they had on it anyway. Let it go. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's I'm, what talking I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You better believe it. Hey, that thing was about two steps away from being a computer. So that's a good cooking fire. That looks like the same grill. Come here, look at this. You're going to like what you see. And it works? Hey. That's a good man. Thank you, sweetie. Miss Kay's happy because the grill is working. I'm happy because I don't have to go to the store and do all that warranty work. Sai's happy looking at the flames. Everybody happy, happy, happy. Give me a hug. All right, look here. Nothing goes better with a little iced tea than some fine barbecue. And I'm fixed to make that happen ASAP, please. Hey, that's some ribs, Jack. I can't wait to eat. All right, Miss Kay, where's that banana pudding? Why well, don't we thank you for a good day on planet Earth. Thank you for keeping Willie safe. Above all, Father, thank you for the great hope we have. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Nothing brings a redneck family together faster than barbecue and car races. Just look at the infield of a NASCAR event. Unfortunately, not all opportunities pay off. Honestly, some are just too expensive to pay for and not worth the trouble in the first place. But the upside is, if you find a way to enjoy the ride, where you end up ain't all that important, so long as it's together with family and barbecue. So, Willie, how's it feel to lose a half million dollar sponsorship? Oh, I got my sponsorship. Check the front of your limo. Pizza jump. Go on. Uh oh. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. oh. Come on in here. Come on, Wayne. I think I've caught the smallest fish ever caught. Come on, Eagle. How long y'all planning on fishing? Would you rather go back to work, Dip? Yeah, man, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. This is work. This is research and development. Well, it feels like fishing. So Jace decided today he wanted to go fishing instead of working. Why would you want to leave when we're catching fish? Because I'm thirsty and I'm hot, dude. Normally, I would be all for that, but not when it's a million degrees outside. We're in the outdoors. This is where I do my best thinking. Don't get me wrong, work stinks. I do my best thinking on the pot, but so does swamp butt, and I kind of got to go there. It's not often you'll hear me say, I wish I was at work. I can't believe we're still out here, but man, I wish I was working. Oh, oh look outside. Right, give it a line. Look, you're drawing that dove. Feed it, Goblin. Feed it, Goblin. Feed it. Keep flying the kite. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh. oh. That's all of All right, that's it. I got another in my truck. Hang on. It's a no-fly zone. I just got an idea. What is the weakest link in duck hunting? Sai. No. Decoys. Decoys. You thinking all the decoy line, what do they got? Flappers. Shakers, movers. Divers. Hoppers. Splashers. They don't have one that comes up to down into the water. Godwin has inspired me to take the decoy to the next level. Flight. You see ducks coming, you just You burn your gun barrels off. That's what we have to harness and boldly go where no duck hunter has gone before. What we need is some kind of pulley system. Some pulleys? Like a zip line. Zip line. That's what we need. Up until now, zip lines were silly things used by yuppies on vacations. I can't believe I didn't think of it. <laughs> I can't. Well, that's very rude of you. And now they're going to revolutionize the duck hunting world as we know it. Hey. We got an eater. Winning. See? I told you we were doing research and development. It'll be the zip line of death. 
Yeah, zip line of death. That's what we need. The Zod. The Z-O-D. The Zod. Oh, we're coming up with all kind of ideas today. All right, I think I found the perfect, slightly used car for you, Will. I'm liking what I am seeing. I got a surprise for you. It's affordable. You are going to absolutely love this. I am. Hey, Joey, yeah. how you doing? I'm Willie. What's going on, Willie? Nice to meet hey. you. Right. Will, Willie? Willie? Will. Y'all ready to go check it out? No, we're ready oh. to see it, so. Is it not these two? Oh, no, these are my daughter's cars. Not for you. We got something sweet. Will's at the age where he's learned how to drive. He's getting his license, and he wants to go car shopping. I'm just looking for a, a real cool car. He wants something here. When you turn it on, it's like Brrr. Probably going to get something here. Wow. More than what you expected, ain't it? It's more than what we expected, right, Will? Yeah. Hello, Officer Will. That's... It's got a light on it. What is that? What is that? Um... This is... That car's terrible. Cool. It's snow. It's bleh. It's gross. It's like bling. Bleh. Bling. No. Oh, look at here. Huh? Look at this, Will. What? Dad, I'm not going to drive this to school. I'll be the laughing stock there. You won't be the laughing stock? Yeah, Will. The it says kid. police on it. You're essentially deputized by even driving it. Can you drive a standard? We'll teach you how to drive yeah. that, too. <laughs> the snow. She's purring like a kitten, Will. Joey, I think we're at that point where we need to make a deal. No. So what's it gonna take to get us in this ride today? Hold on, time out, time out, time out. No offense, I just really do not want this. Will, this is the perfect vehicle. No. It's small, compact, you can get it in weird parking spots that no one else can get in. No. Probably a chick magnet. Nope. You said you want something unique. Can I just get like a car that looks cooler than this? Oh, there's nothing that looks cooler than that. Those two right there, those look extremely cooler than that. Ah, you'll warm up to it. Never. That's what your mom said about me when she first met me. <laughs> I mean, y'all were in third grade. How do you like me now? Well, just think about it. I already thought about it. I got three people lined up to come look at it after y'all do. Man's got three people lined up. That's awesome. They can they can have it. I got a pass. All right, well, look. Whatever you're going to get, it's got to be a viable mode of transportation. Get you from point A to point B. This guy will do it in style. No. Well, Joe, I'm sorry. Sorry for wasting time. Oh, well. Appreciate it again, man. You got a nice place here. All right, brother. God, well, I thought you would love that. I didn't. Let's get her done. We're here. Now what? This is the future. The future? This is the future of duck hunting as we know it. Oh, the future. We're changing the future right here today. So how are we going to do it? I got a bunch of crappy reels. We'll take the line. We'll tie it to the top of the tree. We'll let the decoy come down when you push the button. All right. Who's going to climb the trees? Not me. Not me. OK. I'll take care of the tree climbing. Right, let's do it. I'll start on the fishing reel. Right, Give me a laugh. Right. We are on the threshold of greatness. I tell you what, take the ladder and make it like a bridge right here. This is the day the duck invention comes to life. Go, Martin, go. Go, Martin, go, boy. Are y'all just going to do it like that? This is not the most skilled crew. Bridge installed. Hey, bridge installed, boy. First class job. But I am confident that I will be looked upon as the father of the zip line of death. All right, look, if I get snake bit, one of you heroes cut it with a pocket knife and then suck the poison out. Nope, no. Nope. Nope. You nope. did. Nah, he gone. Nope, you gonna die, nah. buddy. Hey, sorry. No. Nah. This perhaps could put me in the duck hunting hall of fame if we had one. Okay. Oh, it's a bat. Don't leave the man alone. You think to make him fall off the ladder. What are you doing? All right, you're, I'm stabilizing that so you can cross it. So y'all. So <laughs> I'm going to get the rest of the stuff yeah, out of the truck. Yeah, I got to unload yeah. the truck. All right, Jeff, cross the thing. Yeah. What do I got to come over there and watch you climb the tree? I can watch it from here. Hey, I didn't come out here to do all the work. Then you take it like this, and you do like this. Yep. Try not to die, bro. But, hey, but don't uh, worry. I can raise Mia. 
I'll take Cole. He's a pretty productive member of society. <sighs> Reed's on his own. He's on his own. He's old enough. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, it ain't too stout where you're standing there with your left leg. Watch that lamb. That little one's tiny. I don't, I wouldn't trust that. Oh, goodness. What happened? Cotton mouth. Oh, I see him up under that log. Boy, that is a bull. And hey, that is a horse. Yeah, I'm barefooted and I got a freaking cotton mouth running under my foot. <laughs> you got a pistol? Yeah, that's, a, that's a bad place to be. Oh, what can I do to help you from right here? Not a thing. Keep going up. Go up. OK, almost died. Good grief. What's going on? What's up? How's driving lessons been? They were good. Really good. Pulled off a eight-point turn. Eight-point turn? I think it's supposed to be a three-point turn. Well, we're getting there. Let me guess. You've been looking at cars. Yeah. Let me guess. It's way more than I said you could spend. No. Mm-mm. I'm actually shocked. Where is this vehicle? Ah! Right there. That's not a vehicle, that's a motorcycle. It's affordable, though. You are not gonna drive a motorcycle. I don't really like the idea of Will driving a motorcycle because, frankly, they're dangerous. It looks cool, it's fast, it's... It has like... good gas mileage. Yes. Charlie, what are you even doing here? Just here for my brother. When are you going back to school? Well, you said it had to be unique. You said that. And it's a lot cheaper than a car. You said you wanted that. OK, you got me on a technicality here. I implied for wheels. It's not what you said, though. I'm just going off of what you said. Here's the deal. If your favorite food is cereal, no, you don't not. need a motorcycle. It's not. My okay. favorite food is not cereal. What do you eat the most of? I... When you're eating cereal out of salad bowls, you don't need a motorcycle. Here's the deal. You wreck a Jeep, hopefully you walk away. You still got all your limbs. I have most of mine. You wreck that, maybe you don't. If you want something with two wheels, I'll make a deal right here. You can have a bike. It has no motor. All right. Those things are dangerous. They're really fast, too. Do not get on it. Do not test drive it. All I'll right. see y'all back at the house. Yeah, you're going to need a leather jacket now. Yeah. <laughs> Any second, he'll be here. What are we doing? I've got a little life lesson for you today. It's so hot out here. Yeah, well, if you're on a motorcycle, guess what? You have to be in this heat all day. You don't have a roof. There it is. It's not loud, that That's awesome. Hey! See, you got to do that, and that's hard. What's happening? You must be Cadillac. Yes, sir. Driving a motorcycle. Yes, sir. Hey, all the iron. How's it going? How's it going? Look, little Will is still under my roof, which means I make the rules and could easily say no to this motorcycle idea. So you own a motorcycle? Wow. Yes, I was hoping you could explain to him, you know, how bad it is. But what is that going to teach him? He'll just go out and buy one as soon as he turns 18. How many wrecks have you had? Oh, man, you lose count. There you uh -huh. go. So instead, with the help of this biker who's been in a bunch of accidents, I'm going to scare Will straight. But it's cool. Well, it's cool, like, not cool. <laughs> By the end of this conversation, I expect Will to be looking to get behind the wheel of a minivan. Been riding for years, laid plenty of them down. But not at this age. You weren't riding at this age, were you? Yeah. Nice. Have you ever, like, ripped off? Whole side. Whole side. Filleted him like an onion. But I get up and get right back on. That's awesome. That's not awesome. Chicks love scars. Yeah. That's actually not scientific. Yeah. But they're cool, though. Oh, no, they're yeah. not cool. Yeah, you got one on your arm. They're like, oh, my gosh, what is that? He's like, it's my scar. You got to beg the differ on this one. See this helmet? I don't even need it. I got a metal plate in my head. That's awesome. When you get a metal plate in your head, you're that close from what's inside spilling out. But usually the chicks love it. Let's go back to how you lay them down all the time on the road. Clearly, this is not what I intended Cadillac to tell you. The thing that I really like the most is that how he has that metal plate in his head. I want you to pretty much forget everything that guy just said. Kind of hard to forget these awesome stories. Two wheels are more dangerous than four. Oh, they're dangerous, but it's fun to ride. Yeah, it's fun to ride. The wind in your beard. You can roll the window down in your truck. Well, this guy was supposed to scare the mess out of you, not encourage you to be like him. I mean, you always told us, like, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I meant, like, basketball, football, not 80 miles an hour down asphalt. 
Okay, well, Cadillac, I know you're busy, and uh, you probably need to roll on down the roads. I'm free all day. If you yeah, want but... to talk about more about motorcycles, nah, just... we're yeah. good. Cadillac, thank you for coming down. Good okay. luck to you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hope you learned something today. All right. I really don't think he did, but all right. That was a disaster. That was awesome. <laughs> okay. Y'all rig up the decoy while I rig the line. Just a man in the tree. Where's them fishing reels? Oh, here's one of them. Here's one, one of them. them. I got Y'all the drag. Done set, he's, he's done set the drag. Say, that one's bending pretty good there. The one I'm sitting on? Yeah, I'd be careful. Oh, look, here, we can duct tape it. That way they don't see it. No, well, hey, good, hey, I like it. Duct tape. Uh, I got something right no, here. No, duct tape it. I know this was Jason's brainchild, but I am the most experienced man on this crew. Oh, don't do that way. You're gonna have to do it this way. No, ah. they're all gonna be facing each other. You yeah. gotta have it facing out. Boom, done. I'm kinda like that guy Benjamin Buttons. The older I get, the younger my brain gets. What y'all doing? Well, I wanna test, we're testing. You ready? Yeah. Bam! That How worked. about that? I'd shoot him. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm not gonna turn into a baby anytime soon. But if I did, the joke is on these guys because they would have to change my diaper. All right, look, I need a man to come out here and put a cinder block out there about 60 yards. Not it. I'm too old. All right, size out. I'm too short. Yep. You're already out there. You're already wet. That's not how it works. Just jump in there, coming back here. Hey, right. what we'll do this by, we'll do it by age. Jeff, you're the youngest. I'm 147 years old. No. Jeff, let's go. OK, all right, blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and get wet. Hey, here, I'll throw it to you when you get out there. Yeah, we'll <laughs> throw it to you. <laughs> get two cinder blocks so you don't have to walk but one. Two cinder blocks? Do I look like Arnold from Commando? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, no sock, no uh -oh. one. No, it's staying on. OK, OK, we're getting deeper here. I don't want to lose these. <laughs> hey, don't lose them Tom hey. Cruise glasses. See how? Oh, Whoa, baby! Hey. That's all of it. Big surprise. When it comes down to doing the most dangerous part of this job, none of these guys have the stones to do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was oh. the block, too. Oh, don't lose the block! Don't lose the block! It's one thing to climb a tree. It's another thing swimming in murky water carrying a cinder block. Don't forget about that cotton mouth, yep with venomous snakes and who knows what else lurking out there. Here you go, boys. <gasps> Bad boy. Oh, oh yeah. I love it. Who's in charge of search and rescue? That doesn't mean I'm not here to support my brother. I didn't sit back and watch like these other guys. Ah. I wish I had some popcorn watching. I, I know. I'm telling you. I mean, that's what I did until now, but this more than makes up for that. Oh, yeah. Perfect, boys. Yeah, good work. Now I need three more cinder blocks. Ugh. I can't do it. Hey, only three more to go. That's right. Three more. You ain't got three you more, boys. You gotta do boys. that three more times. Here comes Tarzan, boys. Oh, there's a big crocodile behind him. I ain't getting in that mud. Oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. You ain't riding in my truck. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Hey, what up, player? Hey. Said you wanted to see me. Oh, I said I wanted to talk to you, not John Luke. Well, he was already with me. Well, you like the Bobsy twins? I just wanted to see what happened. All right. Your mom and I talked it over. We've come to a conclusion. We've come to a conclusion. We decided that you can get a motorcycle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there you go. But you will be responsible for your insurance. What? Think about getting a job. Wait. And you have to take a special course and get a special license. Wait. And you have to pay for any accessories, helmets, gloves, Biker chaps. Just about everything we've done has backfired with Lil' Will. But I've got one more ace up my sleeve. Responsibility and money. Well, that would be two aces. Just, you know what I'm saying. So how much is all of that gonna cost? Probably two or three grand a year. Two or three grand a year? Yeah. Somebody's gotta pay the difference. And it's gonna be the person who wants the motorcycle. I hate it, but... I feel like this is a good way to handle it. Rather than just saying no, leave the decision up to him. It's a compromise. Now, there is another option. If you choose to buy a regular car, we will pay your insurance. At least till you're 18. Does that mean I could still keep looking at sports cars? It needs to have four doors and at least four wheels. Sweet. See, you came to a good decision. All right, we're All gonna right. go cook right. dinner. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. You know, I think this is a good, family compromise. Well, I get a car, 
I'm just glad it's not a motorcycle. I'm just glad everybody's safe. I'm really happy. I'm just here. I told you, scare them into thinking you want a motorcycle. Then you can get whatever you want. You're a genius. That's how you make a deal. I didn't have help going through all this. I had to do it alone. Sadie was talking about the other day how much John Luke helped her learn to drive. Later in life, I had Rebecca, but she didn't speak English, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> didn't help That's me much. <laughs> all right, let's go for a ride. All right. You can drive. Sweet. I don't know where my keys are, though. They're in your pocket, genius. Mm. OK. <laughs> And we're here. Oh, all right. No break. All no right. break, boys. No break. Oh, man, I wore my wrong shoes. A little muddy. Thunderstorm, hey, yeah. thunderstorm. Dude, it's going to blow your mind. It better blow my mind. You owe me for a pair of shoes. It's worth getting wet and muddy. Well, you should have told me to wear boots. It's Louisiana. It rains Besides, without hey, notice. Yeah, quit being a wimp. Besides, once you see this, you'll forget about the wind and the rain. Built by the visionaries. Willie's gonna take one look at this and say, Jace, you're a genius. Thank you for being my brother. What's the weakest link in Duck Hunt? Sa. No. Besides Sa. Decoys. Decoys. Until now. Until now. This is a groundbreaking idea. It's actually a water breaking idea, wouldn't it? Because they were on the water and now they're flying. You got painted pieces of plastic that are making duck sounds. We've been having those for 100 years. You can already hear people saying, congratulations, Jace. The zip line of death is awesome. After a lengthy amount of research and development. Probably half a day. Feast your eyes on the tree and prepare for greatness. Hit it. Here we go. There he goes, boy. Whee! Er, uh-oh, uh-oh. Easy, easy. Less easy. Pop him, boy. Kill him. Bam! Is that it? And now all you got to do is sell it. We probably should have tested it first. Is this why you drug me out here and got me all muddy? Even if this contraption did work, it's not mass producible or sellable. Y'all been wasting all your time doing this? What do you mean wasting time? This took a lot of time. Hey, can you imagine the instructions for this thing? Step one. Swim into a swamp with a cinder block. Step two, sue Duck Commander. I'm gonna get him. I swam with snakes for this? Even if I were able to sell it, the first time you shoot, all this stuff is gonna hit the water. You'd have someone like Sai who'd managed to shoot the thing down within five minutes. You can't sell this thing. Your ideal man right here, he don't wanna sell it. I'm the ideal man. Well, he don't wanna sell your ideal. Mr. Negative. He's a dream killer. That's what I do. Wait till you see it in duck season. Oh, good night, garter snake. Let's get a new idea of making more duck calls. Ow. You owe me a pair of shoes. Hey, Si, I got something for you. Oh, you caught a snake? Hey, you think get wet? <laughs> Let me reload, boy. <laughs> I'm, <in>. hey, <laughs> I'm gonna drown you. I'll, I'll pour this whole jug on you. All right, y'all ready? Let's pray. Father, we're so thankful for this day and thank you for all the blessings you give us. And Father, we just pray that we always live for you. Thank you for Jesus, through whom we pray. Amen. 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 Sometimes we let our aspirations get the best of us. Jace got so caught up in revolutionizing duck decoys that he didn't stop to consider practicality. And my son let his need for speed get in the way of his safety. We don't always recognize when our goals cloud our judgment but setting each other straight is what family's for. And I'm fixing to send Will straight to the sedan section of the car dealership. Hey, Willie, what if we put some sort of parachute? Give it up, Jace. Get ready for the shuttle rocket, Will. Ooh, Willie, the shuttle rocket. They're called shuttlecocks. Will you quit saying that? It's a birdie. It's a shuttlecock. Shuttle rocket coming to your bang zone. My bang zone or your bang zone? Well, this whole thing is my bang zone, but this is coming to your bang zone. If it were my bang zone, wouldn't that be a good thing? That depends on whether you can handle the shuttle rocket. It's a shuttlecock. Oh, yeah. We've been playing badminton as long as I can remember. It's kind of like a family sport. Keep it rally going, Jeff. We were kids. We just made homemade rackets and nets. Oh, oh there's a net there, Jason. Net rejection. At one point, Willie was the intramural champion at our local college. Uh oh, oh. Yeah, that time. point. 
Nine five. But then I beat him. Ah, oh, my ankle's killing me. I think it's swelling up right on the ankle. Right on the cankle. So that makes me better than the intramural champion of the local college. There's no pressure. I'm just saying. I know there's no pressure. Shut up about the pressure. I got it. Oh, there's pressure. The pressure is on. Game point. I'm aware. You're sweating. I can see your flop sweat from here, Will. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Ah. And he's got the weight of four cheeseburgers in his belly. No pressure. Point. Woo! Yes. Game over. Yes. Ah, that was out. Winner. Winners. Y'all lost. They won. Game over. He served you a bang zone, and hey, what'd you do? You bang zone yourself. It's time for another game. Hey, it's time for some burgers. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. Yep. What? I guess I'm I'm hungry, plus my ankle hurts. After we eat... Burger time. It's two out of three. How long is it going to take to cook these burgers, boys? That's the million dollar question, huh? That's not helping. And you're going to burn them. Aren't those going to taste like lighter fluid? Yes. Yes. I can't grill good. I'm winged. I hurt my shoulder with all them spikes. <laughs> One thing about Willie and Jace that'll never change, they are not good losers. You can't start a fire. You can't get your body to hold up after a game of, ooh, badminton. Plus, you look like an idiot. I think it looks kind of cool, to be honest with you. They are losers, just not very good ones. He's like a little baby bird that fell out of the nest. Oh, I hurt my wing. Y'all quit bragging on him. There's the mother bird coming to the rescue. I'm a better competitor, I'm better looking, and I'm my mom's favorite. Beat that, ding-dongs. You name any other outdoor game or activity, I will guarantee you, you will lose. Hey, we've done a lot of outdoor activities in the Army. They used to drop us off with just a K-bar knife in the middle of the jungle. And then we had to find a way back to base camp and survive while doing it. Si, that's called war. You did that for fun? It's actually not a bad idea. Mm -mm. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Not the war part. You got to have danger in it. Drop us off in the middle of the woods. We race back to fields. Whoever gets there first wins. Me and Willie against you two clowns. I can't do that. Just because y'all are scared to lose a real game. Al's done turned into one of them bloated house cats. My brothers tend to forget they're not the only ones with wilderness skills. I'm not a house cat. Licking his paws. They're always saying, Al's getting old. Al's not an outdoorsman. Al can't grow a beard. He's one of them cats that they already pulled the claws out of. <laughs> Here we go. Al can't do this. Al can't do that. You just turned me into a tomcat. That's me. I'm Al, by the way. <laughs> What is that? You know, when a cat gets up to you, he purrs. What are you talking about? Hey, he comes up beside you, and he wants to be petted, and he purrs. You know, he comes up to you, and he, he's rubbing you, and he purrs. Are y'all in, or are you going to be a house cat? He rubs you and purrs. You know. Are y'all in? I say we cut these boys. I'm in. Well, I'm definitely in. Now, that's what I'm talking about. The game is on. Hey, throw me one of them hot dog bones. Nobody's eating this. I'm not eating I'm this. not eating that. Hey, good grief. OK, here we go. Oh, yeah. There go Garfield. You are like Garfield? I love that big chubby cat. Say, si, you know it's not a real cat. Hey, look, I relate to Garfield, OK? People love it because, hey, they identify with it. We got a lot in common. That's a good thing. Identify with what? Hey, I don't understand why John won't leave him alone, let him eat, him, eat his lasagna. Because, hey, look, he hates Mondays, so do I. That cat loves his lasagna. And he loves lasagna. Look, so do I. <laughs> I love this cat. I'm telling you. Oh, me. Hey, look, he's a cat. And me, I got a cat, OK? Sweet pea. Now, what are you doing there, cutting the paper up? Well, I'm collecting coupons. You know how I like collections. There's nothing worse than getting behind somebody that's got coupons in a grocery store. I'm not sure that's true, sir. Nothing worse than being behind someone while they're couponing. Because it takes them forever. I mean, wars, famine, pestilence, gonorrhea, 
chlamydia. Oh, there's a lot of things worse. If they're not organized, it's awful. Oh, it can be far worse than waiting on some of the coupons. Let's look at this stuff here. Boys. Fresh boneless shoulder rump or chuck beef roast. 20 pound bag of red potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes. I'm done getting hungry now. I am too. Hey, look, you know what? You know you can double these, right? Are those from the same store? Yep. And you know, hey, if you put these two together, you actually make money back. Si, you're really good at this. You ought to come out with me tomorrow and go shopping. Hey, look, I'm a man of many talents. Talons, so uh, that's on the bottom of Eagle's feet. You sound like you're saying talons, like he no. said. I'm a man of many talons. Hey, Phil, we're at the drop zone. Copy? Yeah, we're here. The Eagle has landed. Copy? Let's get this thing started. Now, this is what it's all about, boys. Brothers in arms competing to see who can make it out in the wild. The first team. Okay, to get back to Phil's house wins. Y'all are lucky that I gotta go pick up Miss K. Or, hey, I would get in this thing, hey, and I would take you boys to school. I had some appointments I should've canceled. I don't need a knife, I don't need a sense of direction, I don't even need clothes. I'm not sure this was a good idea. All I need is my two best friends. That would be Laverne there and Shirley here. Doing it always, just like always. The package has been delivered. All right, Sai, so you ready? I got the biscuits in the basket. I'm going to enjoy your pain, Jip. That's a strange thing to say to your son. We're throwing out the baby with the bath water. Sai, si, can we just race? Hey, roger that. On your mark. Get set. It's been nice knowing you boys. Go! What are you two dummies still here for? You're supposed to be burning tires now, son. Leave it. Sai, si, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Oh, no, this is a race. You ought to took off running wide open when I said go. I know Alan and Jeff, hey, they burnt rubber and, hey, threw leaves out, dust trees, everything else. Liam. Mm. You know what we should do this weekend? Go to a spa. Ooh, that'd be awesome. We're gonna need it after this. You ever done shiatsu? Did the hot rocks on the back. Ah, uh, that's nice. Yeah. That's real nice. You ever done a Thai massage? Too much stretching. You know what I like? Aromatherapy. Oh, dude, I love aromatherapy. All right, wait, 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 wait. On three, what's your favorite smell? One, two, three. Lavender. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. We both said lavender both like at the lavender. same time. How awesome is that? I knew it. This is going to be fun. We got to get the circular. The circular? Yep. Why would they call it a circular? It's obvious, a rectangle. That's just the name of it, the circular. But that's still a stupid name. Oh, man, look, it's sugar. I love sugar. Hey, jelly season is right around the corner. The successful mission, OK, starts with a good plan. Well, hey, they got deals here, the whole page of deals. You got to have your weapons, you got to have ammo. I'm fixing to clean these people out. Then second thing is, OK, transportation. Sai, what Street. are you doing? Hey, this buggy is no good. It's got a bad, bad wheel. All right, I'm gonna have to get a new buggy. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take no prisoners. I'm fixing to clean this joint out. You wonder where the deodorant is. I don't know, but they got a great sale on it. Mm -hmm. You need to trust me. I'm the outdoorsman. I don't even think you know where you're going. Look, the sun doesn't lie. I know, it sets in the west. That's my point. What's the point? The point is, that was my point. Now you're trying to make it your point. <sighs> Would you write the laws to the universe? It was my point in this moment. I have a clear direction of where I'm headed. And right now, hey. I want to go in a straight line. Do you have a better plan? <sighs> Not really. That's what I'm talking about. I know a shortcut. You got a shortcut? Yes! How can you have a shortcut if you're following the straight line? Either way, Al and Jep don't stand a chance. See, Jep, we got the, uh, I got a stick in the ground. So we got a shadow. That would be east because uh, western shadow for this time of year. So now we know east-west, which means north-south. I mean, this is, that's east. Oh, wait a minute, no, no, no. We're right, because look, this is the north side of this tree because there's moss growing. Um, there's actually more moss on this side. 
Well, you can't always, you know, it's a dense forest, so the moss rule, uh, that's why it's not as good as the sun rule. It's, you know, sometimes just uh, because of the no sunlight, so that's, yeah, it won't work. Good to know. Being the oldest brother is a position that comes with a lot of power. Ow. Watch yourself, Jeff. That hurt. Ugh. You control the flow of information to all the other siblings. That's how Houdini oh, died, you know. Shh. I thought Houdini died from a punch in the gut. No, it was a briar. When my brothers were younger, they believed anything I said, no matter how ridiculous it was. I'll look it up when you get home. Of course, Jeff really never grew out of that. I'll say we run. Jog it out. <laughs> to dads? Yeah. You with me? Come on. All right, let's do it. Yes. Oh, I need a break. Now I need water. I think we can drink our urine if we boil it. I think that's how Mia Earhart died. She drank her own urine. That's another cool factoid. Yep, it is. Oh my gosh. Hey. Sigh. What? Why don't we need that much? Hey, you got armpits, haven't you? But you don't even use deodorant. Hey, for this kind of deal, I'll start using deodorant. I'm starting to feel like that Sai doesn't exactly understand couponing. So si, what are you doing? Hey. I don't even know if that fits my mom. Well, hey, with this kind of price and this kind of savings, you can't go wrong. You're supposed to use it to save money. We're getting deals now, buddy. Not to buy a bunch of things you don't even need. So I don't think you need that. I can't pass it up, Kate. He's starting to get this look in his eye, and it's a little bit scary. Oh! Uh, See? Kate, take off. I'll well, give you plenty of room. Don't run over my... Hey, look, I'll look. give you plenty of room. I haven't seen that look since he got all worked up about Home Alone 3. Bingo! Bam! Bingo! Coupon for that. Just because Macaulay Culkin isn't in it, you don't have to knock down the whole video display. All right, boy. You don't have a dog. Hey, I got to have one more bag. My point is, he gets carried away. I'm just gonna go back to the register. Wait a minute, hold it. I got more coupons, Kay. I think you have a problem with no, that. No, hey, look, I've got, hey. I'm going look, to the hey, register. Wait a minute, where are you running off to? We still got coupons. Mm -hmm. I think we're making good time. I didn't know if we're making good time, so I took our watches. I don't know. I feel like we're doing good. Ah! It's a road. Oh. <laughs> what about that? Did I not tell you? Yeah, Woo. baby. <laughs> awesome. Do you know this road? No. Do you? No. Well, what do you think? What direction? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. 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 I say this way, Jeff. Okay. Uh oh. So much for your straight line. This is the shortcut. Too late to turn back now. No, 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 hang on. My biggest issue with this shortcut so far is that it's definitely not a shortcut. I ain't getting in that water. My next biggest issue is that Jace didn't mention anything about crossing a raging river. Hang on, hang on, hang on, wait a minute. What? What are you doing? Taking off my shirt. Why are you taking your shirt off? You're gonna get wet. Because I'm gonna throw this shirt on the other side. I only have one shirt. Go. What an idiot. Well, now we gotta go across and get my shirt. There are also snakes, gators, snapping turtles. Let's backtrack, see if we can find another way. I'm not backtracking. And Jace is just diving right in there. Let's rethink this. Woo! 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 Is it cold? Woo. Totally fine. Jace, your face looks like you're cold. Woo! Is crossing this creek the shortest route to my dad's house? Yes. Come on. I ain't getting in that water. Did it cross my mind that this may make Willie uncomfortable? Yes. Man up, we've come this far. Do I really care? Absolutely not. It's not that bad, it's in your mind. It's You're freezing. I haven't seen him this uncomfortable 
since I inserted a water bug into his ear while he was sleeping. Let go of the board and just take off. That's the best way to do it. Jace, I feel it. It's in my boot. It was awesome. Until he had to go to the hospital and get it removed. Just get it over with. Ah! Something bite you? Nope. Hit the family jewels. I don't know why you're going so slow. That's the worst. I'm letting my loins acclimate. Just tear off the Band-Aid. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's over now. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Swallow water. It's probably not that bad for you. See? Look, all right, let's go. Oh, dang. Oh. What are you doing laying down? Oh. Are you sure we need all this stuff? Yeah, we need it. Hey, besides that, it was all at a special deal. It started out so good. Oh, no, we're doing great. At first, it was fun to see Cy si so excited about the coupons. By the way, young lady, you want some coupons? But now he's reminded me of why I like to come to the store by myself. This is $10 worth of coupons. I'll sell it to you for $8. Try. And I'm pretty sure he has no idea how coupons actually work. It's like I'm giving you $2 just out, out of the kindness of my heart. This whole thing has turned into a disaster. Stop bothering that nice young lady. What? And not just a regular disaster, a side disaster. And those are much worse. Come on. What? She needs oh, the coupons. Oh, we're done? OK, all right. What's the damage, Jerry? Uh, $2.90.52. All right, look, I got a coupon for all that. All righty, let me see what you got. All right, this is my first time coupon. You got a lot here. See, that sounded good, Kay. Uh-oh, that sounded bad. <clears throat> hey, none of these coupons are any good. Uh... Hey, look. Here's the problem with the coupons. They got all kinds of fine print. What do you mean you got to buy two of them? Expiration date and technicality and legal mumbo jumbo. Expired? What are you talking about? Oh, you want a dollar off on some chicken pot pie? No, no, no. Break out the reading glasses, have the lawyer check it out. How much off is that so far? Uh, one dollar. Pitiful. Hey, look, and them lawyers, they're expensive. I don't even think they take coupons. This has turned into a nightmare. Amen to that, brother. Kind of defeats the whole purpose. No, 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 no. There's nothing worse than getting behind somebody that's got coupons in a grocery store line. OK, I'll just pay for it. Just don't go through anymore. Are you sure? OK, hey, throw them in the trash can. Coupon ain't what it used to be. How would you know uh, since you've never done it before? Well, that's what I'm talking about. So what exactly are you going to do with all this junk you have purchased? I'm going to give it to charity. Except the cups. I need them. Well, I didn't think you'd show. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Look at Will. He's all tuckered out. See? I told you we'd win. There's no doubt we were going to win <laughs> this stupid thing. Hey, Jeff. Al. Huh? Come out of there. No way. <laughs> Look who finally showed up. There's your winner. Late to the party. No way. Tea in hand. Biscuits in their bellies for the last hour. Yeah, y'all want it, all right. Ha! There's no way. We just found the road. Smart. Burnsy from church came along. Our ride home. You can't hitchhike. 21st century survival, baby. Hitchhiking always wins. That's how I used to date your mama. That's why y'all are here. So basically, y'all cheated. There was nothing when I went over the rules about you cannot catch a ride. They got dropped off. Y'all got dropped off. Hey. Hey. Damn. Just face it, OK? You lost. Suck it up and quit whining. Uh -huh. I did not lose. Oh, I lost. Now, you don't understand. You know what I this means? I was cheated. If you... Oh, no, the rules were wrong. Look, <laughs> if we get I on it. I miss and... hot biscuits and jelly. <laughs> Is that your new hobby? That's my new hobby. <laughs> I can't believe you've done that. That uh, took me two right, hours let's eat. of I'm starving. hard work to get that that way. Father, thank you for this good food you blessed us with. Thank you for blessing us in many ways. Thank you, Father, for giving us the great hope to be raised from the dead. I pray this through your son that you sent for us all. Amen. Amen. Every family has their own set of rules. 
For the Robertsons, it's pretty simple. Love God, love your family, and hunt ducks. Outside of that, everything is open to interpretation. For instance, Alan likes to bend the rules, while I happen to be very good at enforcing them. And Sai, well, he doesn't even understand the rules to begin with. But in the end, none of that really matters, as long as there's love in your home and food on the table. Willie, Jace, how does it feel to be losers? We should do two out of three. I think I'm gonna get one of these there. Uh, that's what I need. Put right that there. up, dude. You don't need that. Hey, I do need this. Jace, put it up. If you had to have one weapon, in the woods, what would you go with? One weapon? One weapon. Why a ninja throwing star? Ninja throwing star. Why am I not surprised? Willie has this obsession with ninjas. You don't have the body type for a leotard. I think there's a weight limit on ninjas. When he takes off running, he looks like two possums fighting over a dead squirrel in a toe sack. You couldn't even get in a ninja suit. Real ninjas are, have all kind of different body weights. I think he's more like a sumo wrestler than a ninja. Have you ever seen Enter the Ninja? No. Oh, no. Philip McMillan. What? What's going on, duck boys? Jace? What about it, Dimples? Dude, nobody calls me Dimples anymore. Really? Because I just did. Jace and I have known Philip McMillan since high school. He's the guy who thinks he is the best at everything. When you're 21 and still in high school, yeah, you're pretty good at stuff. How's the duck business going? It's going great. How's the whatever you do? This is what you're into now? Riding lawnmowers in town? This is just my ride around mower. My racing rig is what I'm really proud of. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I hate lawnmowers. Let's get rid of them all the world would be a better place. If you combine the time you waste cutting grass with the time you waste shaving your face, we'd be going to Venus, you know, and we could be doing whatever. You ever won any of these races? Yeah, I win them all. If you boys are interested, y'all might want to meet me up there for a little race on Saturday night. Are you challenging me? If y'all could put something together. You can talk any redneck into a challenge. I'll beat the crap out of you in the lawnmower. That's why so many rednecks die in such strange ways. Because he would rather be dead than disrespected. Well, get all your boys together, fix up whatever you want, and let's get it on. I just might Done. have to do that. I'll be waiting. Put a darn shirt on, dude. See you at the races. Yeah, I hit him right in the forehead with a throwing <laughs> star. I was thinking. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Hey, I'm about to ruin. Hi, right, Si. Hey, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the sound you're used to. Look here. I love that Humpty song. Stop cramping my style, man. Hey, forget the duck calls. Mm hmm This is serious, boys. Look, here's the deal. We've been challenged. Who challenged us? Philip McMillan. Uh, uh, geez. Yeah. Needless to say, I can't stand the guy. Who can? Hey, he stole my favorite hat one time, and I got a sunburn on my head. He made fun of my beard. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, you never insult a man's beard. You think you get either thunder or lightning. Either one. Where'd you see him at? At the hardware store. Riding his lawnmower. I ain't never seen him on nothing else. He challenged us to a race. A race? What, racing lawnmowers? A lawnmower race. What we gonna do? Who's, see who can cut the most grass? No, sir, a race. We get in a line and we race, and whoever's the fastest wins. So here's what I need you to do. We're gonna have a time trial at my house. Go get your lawnmower, meet me there in two hours. What are we gonna do, mow your grass? Sir! Si. Uh, I don't know what y'all talking about. Bring your lawnmower. No, we're gonna go over and mow his grass. <laughs> All right, girls, today I'm making a duck gumbo for Papa Phil. 
But you know how you start off making it? You make a roux. You're making kangaroo? It's just called a roux. Well, what's that? That is a sauce. Hey, buddy. The older women teaching the younger women how to cook. Now, that's a good thing there. Isn't that a pretty picture? When you see your grandkids all gather around and Mamaw's showing them how to cook a roux, I consider that a very positive thing, especially in this culture. What are we what? doing, little chickies? We cooking here? We're making gumbo. If she surprised me with uh, duck gumbo out of the clear blue, that usually means there's ulterior motives in there somewhere. She's up to something. Whoa! What's in the box, Miss Kate? Oh, that's a little country cottage I got for the girls, but I just need you to put it together. Yep, I, I get it now. Well, suppose I don't put this house together today. Well, suppose I don't serve you this gumbo today. If Miss Kate thinks she's gonna get me to do her bidding by cooking me a gumbo, she's got another thing coming there. What is this, Dad? I don't know, I'll figure it out. What is it? Oh, what? What? No, the bottom line is I'm just glad I didn't have a house full of girls. Seems rather nightmarish to me. What is this, Dad? Where does this go? Don't just stand there. I'll figure it out. Yeah, put that over there. Ooh, I feel sorry for that poor soul that has to raise them. Glad it didn't happen to me. What in the world? Cuteness and sweetness is good with granddaughters for about, what, a minute or two? Tell them hit the road. Go back in the back room and play dolls or whatever they do. I tell you what, look, go see Miss Kay and then come back and I'll get it fixed. Beth Alfio, do you know what you're doing? I'll fix it. Are you sure? Mm. See you later. Good grief. Look, we're doing a time trial here. We're doing three laps to see who has the best motor, best driving skills, and all around best driving demeanor. Now it's on to the time trials. It's time to take these mowers out in the open lawn and clean the pipes out. Does anybody have a lawn mower like post 1995? This thing's about 45 years old, but hey, it'll still run. Hey, this is a 1965 Praying Menace Grasshopper. This one is made for leisurely driving, boys. You know, take it slow and easy, like the tortoise and the hare, boys. Hey, who won that? You know, it was a cat that took a slow and easy. Hey, it's a praying menace. <laughs> anyway, Jeff, what are you what are you running? It's all I got is a push mower. What kind of race this is it in anyway? <laughs> well, you know, hey. I think that team might have turned on you. Let's be honest, this time trial is just for show. I really just want the guys to come out and see how good I was on the lawnmower. I think I've got this thing locked down. Whoa. Seriously? What are you doing? We've got our entire Duck Commander workforce sitting in my yard on old lawnmowers. We fixed out a lawnmower race. Time trial. Whatever. I thought y'all were kidding when you were talking about this. Well, I don't kid when somebody challenges my manhood. Hey, he started this war. This is about Philip McMillan. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if we're throwing rocks. But if he challenged us to who could fly a kite the highest, we'd all be out there with strings, you know? It's about manhood, standing up and being a man. This is what we do. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> Do I feel stupid? Oh, yeah. I'm on a lawnmower in Willie's backyard with other grown men. Would I rather look stupid than disgraced by a redneck? I'll take stupid every day. All right, uh huh. Between the five of us here, I figure we can get this 10 acres cut. What? 30 minutes. Hey, right, this praying mantis, smooth cutting. It's like when a woman goes to a beauty parlor, okay? She went in there looking like an old hag, and then she comes out looking like Dolly Parton. Hey, get out of the way. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Hey, you want a man. Just like I thought, 
big winner, but my mower definitely needs some more speed. By the time I get through with it, I'm gonna demolish Philip McMillan. It's time to get serious. I'm talking Philip McMillan. I'm talking right. Philip McVillan. Right. He's going down. He's going down. Go. Fire! Whoa! That's it. <laughs> Let's get it to the well, warehouse. Let's get out of here. Soup this baby up. I knew I didn't need no directions on something like that. Good night. I figure the granddaughters will be happy, happy, happy when they see the grandpa architectural skills on a playhouse. Yeah, that'll work. Now, that's a fine piece of work right there, if I have to say so myself. What do you think? It doesn't look like the picture. Close enough. No. 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 Boo, you got parts all over there you hadn't even used. I can tell he's tossed the directions one more time, decided to do it all himself, but it's not looking right. What's that? That is where I think you take a leak. Women do not do that. That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think they're going to use the commode for anything, so I guess it was there just for decor. What do y'all think, girls? Are you fired up or what? There's not even a window. You want a window? Yeah. Well, you right want it right there. here? All right, back out of the way. You want a window, I'll give you a window. A chainsaw in this part of the country is a redneck's best friend. You can take trees down, you can cut your firewood up, or you can work on grandchildren's playhouses. They are ready to go. Way better. And what else y'all need to do to it? Nothing uh, else! No, no. Standard equipment. I carry one with me all the time. Climb up in there. What do you think? It's cool. <laughs> Let's take it to a duck blind. A duck blind? Now you talking. I'm going to leave on that. I believe you girls are going to turn out just fine. All right, gentlemen, I think you know why we're all here. Why are we here? We're modifying this mower, you idiot. I told y'all. Hmm. Well, how you do that? We're gonna beef it up. It's beefed up. You're sitting on it. Do y'all wanna make duck calls? Is that what you wanna do? No, I don't wanna no, make duck calls. No, no, I like a project. Let's go with it. I'm gonna take this regular, ordinary lawnmower and turn it into a super beast racing machine. I've done a little research. This is what I want this looking like. Good well, hey, you got night. a picture of it. Why don't we get that one? That belongs to Philip A. Millen. That's some pretty good research here. Got off the internet. It was on his status update. So you're friends with him <laughs> on the internet? Not me, but another name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There you go now. Stay gone. You get a redneck working on a mower, you're gonna get something awesome. You put five rednecks on a mower, you're gonna get something epic. How else can we drop weight? Although y'all are really not good at dropping weight. Stop. 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 What are you doing? It's all about physics and our dynamics. Just trying to do my part, boys. These boys don't know nothing. And I, I don't know nothing, and I'm the best one there is around this bunch. What are, what are we doing? You said tear it apart, so we're tearing it apart. That doesn't look like the picture. No. Well, well, she's got red up here. He builds racing lawnmower. He does what? Jimmy Red builds racing lawnmowers? Yep. What? Hey, Goblin, I know you're not the smartest pickle in the barrel, but don't you think that would have been pertinent information before we got ourselves in this mess? Does it go fast? Yeah, it goes fast, about 80. Why didn't you open your mouth? I ain't gonna build no duck calls. <laughs> I hope Jimmy Red's mower's a whole lot faster than this one, because we ain't losing the Philip McMillan. Here's what we do. We're gonna put all this back together. We're taking it back. Good luck with that. Hey, we'll do this tomorrow. That ain't that We're racing to do. tomorrow. Hey, we can do it in the morning. I'm serious. Hey. Good luck taking that back. There we go. Oh. Y'all push, I'm focusing. Focusing on what, not doing anything? This is it. This is the big time. We got Jimmy Red's mower, and it looks fast as crap. Oh, here we go. Easy. Yeah, thanks for the help. There's no way we're losing. I'm going to beat the crap out of Philip in this lawnmower race. 
Whoa. They got some serious machinery right. here, boys. I'm telling you one thing, they don't look like they're kidding around. How hard can it be? When I accepted Phillip's challenge, I didn't realize that death could occur. Don't be a coward. We can do this. I'm not quitting, because I ain't a quitter. You only live once, but I'm afraid of. But I am a little concerned. What's the worst thing that could happen to you? I could freaking die. You me all right? Willie is not going to be OK. Let's go. My granddaughter said, let's go with a duck blind. And I said, well, now we are cooking with peanut oil. <laughs> are y'all fired up about these ducks or what? Yeah! I thought so. I said, you know, I am really proud of my granddaughters. <laughs> Hey, you never know. They may turn out to be duck hunters. It is never too early to teach them. Well, look out there on that bench in front of you. See them lined up out there? And we're going to see what kind of shots you are. Frack them and stack them. For everybody who hits one of those ducks, that's a crisp $1 bill. I didn't hear any meat pop. I don't think I got it. No dollar for you. I'm trying to teach these grandkids of mine the Robertson way. Put your head down where you look right down the barrel. I think I missed. I made a valiant attempt, but I'm not making much headway. Put the front sight right on the duck, Mary. She's fixed to shoot. Woo. You got him. <laughs> hey, hey, good work. Y'all some duck hunters now. Ladies and gentlemen, one more yuppie girl moved just a little closer to being a redneck. Did y'all ever play with dolls or duck hunt? There's still hope for America out there. You girls may make rednecks after all. It's a start. It's a good day. They learned a good lesson there. Hey, were you serious about my dollar? I did say I'd give you a dollar, didn't I, if you hit a duck. You just like a woman. Thank you. All it takes is money. Welcome to the High Hamilton Saturday Night Lawnmower Races. Are you ready to assume the role of CEO if something were to happen? Racers, start your mowers. We can do this. We can do it. You going down, duck boy? No, I ain't. You're going down. On your mark. Get set. And all I'm getting from him is terror. He won't get off the inner track. He's driving eight miles an hour. He's scared to death. You're OK. You're OK. You're OK. These guys are fast, like supersonic fast. All I'm thinking about right now is don't die. Because if I die, in a weird way, Philip wins. Hey, look at McMillan. Looks like Philip McMillan's having engine troubles. I see that Philip's in trouble. I'm thinking, you know what? We can't win the war, but we could win this battle. Willie can take it. Go, Willie! Philip McMillan bringing up the rear. Forget winning the race. We just want to beat Philip. He's actually got a little speed builder down. is finish. Yeah. 
It's a nail biter to see who can take last place. And Willie takes the lead. <laughs> we got him. We'll take it. Right. You buy the whole seat, but you only need to eat. You were terrible. But hey, you didn't finish last. <laughs> Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you go back and get you an undershirt? Better luck next time. Take them Crocs back to the old trailer house. All right, let's go get something to eat. Hey, wait, we need to go put that lawnmower together. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. We also thank you for keeping old Willie safe during the race. Amen. 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 Right, let's eat. A wise man once said, you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. Philip McMillan needed his tail whooped in a lawnmower race. My nieces needed some quality redneck time with Papa, and I had the need for speed. Ow! Well, I didn't exactly get that either, but I did learn the value of having a great pit crew, and on the race of life, that's your family and friends. They're the ones that make you feel like you've won, even when you come in last, and that's better than any trophy in the world. Hey, Willie, the praying mantis cuts grass way better than the thing you drive. It has nothing to do with grass! <laughs> Something ain't right here. Where'd the water go? I, I don't know. It looks like it's bone dry. Houston, there is a problem. Something is a foul somewhere. We are losing water, and we don't know where it's going. We got big time problems here. That water was a foot up on them oak trees right there, Si. In order to attract ducks, we have a levee system to hold pools of water. No water, no ducks. That ain't good at all. Woo! Ducks are like women in that they don't like a lot of mud on their butts. What we have now is a lot of mud. I see beaver signs, Si, all out in here. And bucktooth rascals. We figure it's beaver just knocked a hole in, in our levee. But a bullet in every one of them. Burn the huts down. He's the pelting plague. He's a log chewer, water joker, flat tail rascal. Hey, I hate them suckers. A man and his beavers, they ain't beating me. Phil's the duck commander, but if I come up with a beaver call, I can become the beaver commander. Got a nice ring to it, beaver commander. Measure those in that bowl, and then you okay. dump that in. Five cups. In the kitchen, it's just a love that's been there since I was a girl. <laughs> I wish I could find a love for cleaning my house. I could care less about that. You know, and I was just thinking about how much fun we'd have if I opened a restaurant. You should. And just cook and cook and cook. I think everybody would pay top dollar to eat your cooking. I basically feel like I've been running a restaurant for a lot of men for a lot of years. Hey, boys. Except nobody pays. Where's the biscuits? I haven't made the biscuits what yet. What good is jelly without biscuits? Guess what my new idea is? Making biscuits. I've always dreamed of having my own restaurant. Kay's been on this restaurant idea for years. Okay, you can't just make jelly one day and then decide to start a restaurant. I can't fund all mom's crazy ideas for businesses. You know I can cook for a lot of people. Have I not hey. been doing that for years? Hey, a restaurant is more than cooking, it's business. One time she wanted to open a public library in her house. I love books. I like going to the library. Don't want that in my house. We're really going to do it. OK. It's worth a try. All right, we'll get back on. Where's Phil? Where's Phil always? At the land. Uh, stop it. Can you believe them suckers did that? 
I got news for them beavers. They ain't beating me. Phil. Willie to Phil. Willie to Phil? That's the call I've been waiting on. Yeah, I'm here. Where y'all at? We down here looking what was the privet hole. We are losing water. Very rapidly. I would suspect that them dead blasted beavers. So y'all get your tail down there. Let's see if we can find out where the problem is, see if we can fix it. We got to get on that. Every year this happens. It's time to go get the beaver. They've chewed another hole in a levee. And every year, we're out there looking for them. We never get them. But y'all come on down in here. I'll tell you what they need. They need a bullet in their head. Dad is on a mission, and we're all going to be there trying to get that beaver. Where y'all at right now? Coming over. Do y'all need anything? You bring plenty of muscle and blood in your eye. Hey, hey, tell them bring me some tea. I'm mining her out. So I said bring him some tea. I'm down to the last little sip. We think to obliterate every beaver around here. This is a big deal. The water levels control the ducks, and the ducks control our hunting, and our hunting controls our life. All hands on deck. Where's all the water? That's all we got left up here. That one little hole. We've got to find this dam, and we've got to kill these beavers quick. Look at the tracks. Way more than one, too. That's, that's a, a small that's a group colony. Of a beaver is about like the ninjas. The suckers only work at night, and they're hard to find. This is where their house was. <laughs> Look at here. They ate your board. How, how many would it take to do that? I don't know, but that's a belly full of tube of six. That sucker has some jaws on him. He can gnaw through a tube of six like a knife going through butter. He's the super beaver. That is a lot of damage in a short period of time, is all I got to say. I think they know who I am. They've declared war on you. Yeah, they don't like you, and it is personal. Man against furry animals. I'll win the contest before it's over. We got to kill these suckers if it's the last thing we do. If we find every beaver down on the property, load it with dynamite, that'll be a start on it. I believe you're right, Sal. Kill the beaver. Kill them all! So in the middle of the night, I hear this, like, big thud. Willie gets up to go to the bathroom, trips and slams his nose hey, right what? into the closet door. Hey. Yeah. Miss Kay, ladies, how y'all doing today? Hey. So good to see y'all. How's the food? This is my favorite place to come. Thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. You know what? I want to ask you something. How hard is it to run this restaurant? Why are you thinking about running a restaurant? Okay, you practically run a restaurant already. Do you, you have any experience running a real restaurant, though? I worked in a chicken shack. Fry it up and stick it out the window, and there you go. Nothing but chicken in a row. A chicken shack? Go ahead and tell them what you want, Kay. I would like some experience in a really? real restaurant. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm closed on Sundays. Maybe you can come by in a couple of weeks, so I'll give you a shot. I can do it. When I hear an opportunity, I jump at it. I want to be there this Sunday. I can run this restaurant this Sunday. This Sunday. Okay, that's tomorrow. If you really want to do it, the keys are yours. How about that? Thank you. All right. I got myself a restaurant. You know what a beaver's problem is? He brings a paddle to a gunfight. Boys, one thing I learned in Vietnam. What is that? It's making me nervous. When you got to get things out of holes, you got to have something with a candle. Smoke them out and napalm them. Sides our secret weapon since he has military background. He's a handy man to have around. You just have to channel his aggression. We're going to get him one way or the other. <laughs> An insanity. These are homemade bombs, huh? Well, is this legal to make your own bombs, though? No. Side with napalm causes you a little bit of consternation. I just send a shiver down anybody's back. Hey, I can't prepare you. <laughs> hey, look here, beavers. You better hide your wives, hide your husband, and look here, both of you hide your kids, because we're coming. All right, boys. Hey, we're taking no permit. Judgment day is here. Judgment day is here. Hey, no prisoners, boys. Some families play baseball. Some families do horseshoes. What about this hole over here? I figure one's in that one. Us? No, it's beaver hunting. There you go. You actually trust that? I didn't even want to be a part of this. And all of a sudden, I'm lighting size homemade bombs. Which is kind of cool. All right, he's in there, boy. Had to bring him out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Just one I thought. 
Get ready, because, hey, if he's in there, that joker will come out of there, Jack. No. Nope. This was a huge waste of time. I knew this was going to happen. We're like that other team that the Harlem Globetrotters play. We're that team. The Beavers are the Harlem Globetrotters, spinning their balls on their paws. I don't think they're coming out here. We're going to have to do this thing at night. I think the more duck recipes, the better. There's some fried ducks in some there. Some little fried yeah. finger, like duck fingers yeah, fried. Yeah, that'll be good. I can't believe Chef Eric's going to really let me run a restaurant. The menu we're looking at looks great, and I think everybody's going to love it. You know, let me tell you what you put on your menu there while you're there. Fresh barbecued beaver. Kill daily. Kill. Do people even eat beaver? Yeah, that's a good recipe. Oh, yeah, hickory smoked beaver. I don't want to scare them to death. Possum and sweet potatoes. What about yeah, that? Possum and sweet potatoes. The women have forgot about all the fine backwood delicacies that we could serve in that restaurant. Fried Nutri-Rat hearts. Oh. Oh. We're going to have them, too. Like, my stomach is turning. You can serve a BLT, beaver, lettuce, and tomatoes with mayonnaise on whole wheat. You know, finest sandwich there he is. Beavers. Perfect recipe. Uh -uh. Hey, cut up in a white sauce. What? Yeah. What's Speaking going of on? beavers, uh, there are my beaver killers right there. So why are you hollering? Hey. Hey, they done, they done turned all my cooking ideals down. Hey, boys. I'm running Chef Eric's restaurant for one night. What's yeah. it got to do with us? I need everybody. It's a oh family. We do gosh. everything by Everybody's going to help. The idea of cooking with K all night, that's a nightmare. How about I just hire somebody to go in there and run it for no, the night? Really? It's not, it's not the same, same thing. I don't know about the restaurant, but I know about them beavers. They got to die. We got a beaver killing coming up, girls. They're so obsessed with the beaver. Look here, boys. Hey, there's my secret weapon right there. Secret weapon? Yeah. What do you oh, got, yeah. a stereo? It's a boom box. Hey, this is a stroke of genius I've come up with on this. Russian scientists went out in the middle of the woods and put a recording of running water. Well, hey, the next time so they know... you lost your mind. Hey, no, the next time they know, here comes two or three beavers, and they start building a dam. Right there where that thing oh, was. Oh, poor crap. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, this is scientific stuff, boys. Did you just say scientific? Most of the stuff that I come up with, they don't take me serious, but that's fine. One day, it'll hit them that, hey, the old boy has got more sense than we ever gave him credit for. Where'd you read that? Oh, I just picked it up. I was in a doctor's office. Are you in a psychiatrist's office? Cy has never had a normal idea in his whole life. You've got mad scientist tendencies. That's exactly right. My top 10 of dumbest things I've ever done in my life has always involved Cy in some way. Two, three, testing this thing on. Cy, so that's One, two, huge. three. This thing's running. I'm testing. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it? It's not, it's not like a bathtub. He's recording himself taking a bath. I think it was supposed to be like a stream going through mountains. Not an old man easing into a warm bath. That running water's making me sleepy. It makes me want to go pee. I think that Russian scientist need to do a little more research on that project. He should have sold it for a sleeping aid. Listen to the sound of rushing waters, and about three or four hours later, you will be out like a light. That's what that thing did. It called no beavers. I tell you what, I done heard enough of that dog on that. What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? I'll tell you what I was shooting at. I got tired of that dead gum radio running water all night long. He shot the radio. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I thought he saw a beaver. <laughs> Hey, it didn't work. Hey, are you nervous about tonight? Oh, no. I was born to cook. <laughs> well, there's the help I've been waiting for. I know I have a crazy family, but when I need help, they're there for me. We're not here long. What? This is going to be quick. I'm out of smoke bombs, napalm, and I'm out of 22 bullets. You're going back? Yeah, we're going no, back. No, 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 you can't go back. The beaver will be there tomorrow. 
Yeah. The restaurant is tonight. And there's a time to cook and there's a time to kill. That's exactly right. This is the time to kill. Hey, they're fixing to be a big gunfight at the Beaver Corral. Five o'clock. That is the cut-off time. Jace, you better listen to your mama. Listen, I brought you into this world. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. Don't forget where you came from, buddy. Hey, this is it right here. Look. Is that it, Jay? You see this big mound of brush? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a house. We've stumbled up on the beaver promised land. So now it's the reckoning. When I start shooting, y'all watch. They'll be right there in front of you. And you realize that all these beavers are somewhere smiling. Can I tell you what? You got about five seconds to wipe that smile off your face. Ah! Boom, 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 bow, boom, bow, bow, boom, bow, bow. Ah! Ah! What about it? Kill them all, boys. Y'all get him? He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. One down and a hundred to go. I cannot believe they're not here yet. They're not gonna let me down, I'm telling you. I know my boys, and they're not gonna be late, because I'm their mama, and they respect me. It's like after five and they're not here. If they don't show up on time, I'll whip their butts. Look, when Jace left this morning, all he could think about was beavers. We'll call them, They'll meet, they can meet us there. They had all day to hunt those beavers and they're gonna be late. So, what time is it? <laughs> Boys, we're 30 minutes late. Kay's gonna have a fit. How do I get in these situations? I just got born into this family. I'm doing the dumbest things ever <laughs> because my last name is Robertson. I'll tell you what, y'all go to that restaurant, I ain't going anywhere. I don't do restaurant gigs, no. Especially in the middle of a beaver killing. You're not through with them yet, Phil? I ain't through with them. Bring me some more bullets before you leave. Well, hey, give them a kiss for me. A kiss yeah. of death. Oh, I'll kiss them, all right. Kay's gonna give you the kiss of death if you don't come. In the heart of a beaver hunt, the last thing you want to do is run out too quick. Might have missed one. We got beavers to kill. You ain't gonna believe what I'm fixing to end up doing here tonight. Guys, yeah. I know. The what? guys are not here? No. no. All right, when the guys get here, we're just going to have to throw it all together. I don't know what those boys could be doing out there. <laughs> They're ridiculous. I'm going to kill them for being late. They're all just playing. being all stuck. Oh, oh, hey. Finally. We've been waiting. Y'all are filthy. Look, we found the huge beaver hut. Hey, oh, hey, we don't have time for that. We it's Phil's fault. Where is he at? Your husband has gone totally psycho. You see? What is that smell? You gotta get washed up. I don't know why everybody's so upset that I'm showing up late, dirty. I've been showing up late and dirty my whole life. Okay, waiter number one. Waiter? And waiter number two. I'm actually pretty nervous, and not for me, for the people who I'm about to wait on. Hey, welcome to Miss Kay's restaurant. Hello, ladies. Thanks for joining us. Forget the chicken, forget the steak. Squirrel, duck, or gumbo, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. What comes with that? It comes with the duck. I'm not sure. The Robertson family is good at hunting. We're good at making duck calls. Great at growing beards. Running restaurants? Nah. Is this order up? No, 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 no. We're working on that. I've got their order wrong three times. I'm looking for my squirrel. When you look at us, you're not thinking, I want that guy pawing my food and then serving it to me. I've never seen anybody with so much hair on their face working in a restaurant. Look at us. We're, we're not restaurant people. My wife and I are pescatarians. But my wife has a special gluten allergy. I'm not sure what that means. Gluten? I mean, they're ordering stuff that I've never even heard of. Oh, I'm a pescatarian, and I'm, I'm running low on my gluten, and what do you have for that? How about a kick in the pants? Look at that, Red. Yep. That's the one we've been looking for. Put the scorched earth on them there. All right. The rednecks have come up with an idea. If you like your beavers, well done. I've got the device to pull it off. <laughs> Burn them out. There's a new sheriff in town now. Wait, hey. Look at that. What are you doing back there? I am grilling. You can grill anything on the grill. Hog, crab, shrimp, snapper. 
You could probably shoot a horse and grill him. Well, I'm talking about Sal! Sal looks like a hibachi chef. My own is grill! Can't understand a word he says. It ain't no doubt in my mind. She'll straighten that boy out. I'm seeing knives and flames, but I don't know what he's doing. Hamburgers hey. and hot dogs are not on the menu. Look here, I looked around and it was on my tray, so hey, I grilled it, Jack. Stop hey, cooking the... Hey, if you threw a cow out there, I'd have loaded that sucker on the grill and grilled him. Who's in charge around here? Can I fire him? The only fire I'm gonna be doing around here is just what I've been doing all night. Find him on the grill. You clowns, come and get it. I'll put my grilling up against anybody's. I am a grill master. This is not going like I thought it would be going. Watch out for the toothpicks and the shot. Size back there acting like a nutcase. I can fly, and I don't even need a cape. And Willie's just, I don't know what he's doing. Strawberry salad? Did you order one? We got to hey, sir, sir. My dream is turning into a nightmare. How's it going out there? No idea what is I'm it crazy? doing. Not good. This not restaurant good. business is tough. You're right. I'm starting to think this might not be such a good idea. Is this order up? Wait, 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 you gotta talk to me. No! Welcome to the restaurant business, Jack. <laughs> you put the Robertson men on anything outside of hunting or making duck calls, you've got a disaster. They're gone. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Come back when we're not here. Hey, this is what we're looking for. Is that the last of it? That's it. The grill is officially closed. Are you going to get in the restaurant business, Kay? No, thank you. Thank goodness. I love a kitchen, but it's time to let the lights go out, as they say. Back to your own kitchen. But we got plenty of leftovers. Let's take them all home and have a family dinner. We got to find Wait, Phil. Where is Phil? He's still on them beavers. Oh, my goodness. I wonder how many he killed. He probably burnt the old woods down. Burn, baby, burn. Hey, Red. I like my beaver fried. We pray, Father, that we love you more each day. Thanks for this great food again. Amen. 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 All right, dig in. The Robertson family and bad ideas go together like biscuits and jam. Phil had to find them beavers. Kay had to run a restaurant. And Cy si had to play a recording of himself taking a bath to attract beavers. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. If there's any bright spot here, is that every once in a while, a bad idea will pay off. It hasn't yet, but I'll let you know when it finally does. In the meantime, I'll try to be more open to my family's stupid ideas. Hey, Willie, tomorrow we need to design a beaver call. That's a terrible idea. 